Hello. In this video, I'm going to do a couple of examples, uh, example alkyne reductions, uh, where we're going to have to choose reagents based on the desired outcome from a particular alkyne reduction. And I'm going to finish off this video just highlighting, highlighting a couple newer reactions to uh, partially reduce alkynes. So on this screen, I have three different alkyne reduction reactions. They're a little bunched together, so, so let me let me separate them out here a little bit. There, okay, there we go. Uh, and what I wanted to do is just go through each of them and think about what reagents are necessary to achieve these transformations. And one way that you can approach each of these is just to go through the problems and write down what the, the product looks like. So our first product is a cis alkene. Our second product is an alkene. Our third product is a trans alkene. And then if we also might remember that there are, you know, three different ways to do uh, alkyne reduction. We can use catalytic hydrogenation. We can use catalytic hydrogenation with a poison catalyst like the Lindler's catalyst. And we can use sodium and ammonia to do a dissolving metal reduction. And now it's just a matter of matching these up to the reagent or to the reactions that they go with. Right. Our first example is a cis alkene. Uh, since we're making an alkene, we want to pick one of the two partial reductions. So the two partial reductions are, are hydrogen gas and a poison catalyst like the Lindler catalyst uh, or dissolving metal reaction like sodium and ammonia. Uh, one of these makes trans and one of them makes cis. Uh, and so if we figure out which one is the cis, we know the other one is the trans. Um, and because we, we've we just talked about the two partial reductions, uh, the one that's left, hydrogen and platinum, uh, must be the full reduction. It's going to go with the alkane. Then the thing to remember thinking about the partial reduction of alkynes to alkenes is that the uh, Lindler catalyst or the poison catalysts are still hydrogenation reactions. So they still add hydrogen to the same side of the molecule. And so you're going to get those two hydrogens facing the same way. Uh, and where that happens is on the cis alkene, not on the trans alkene. And if you remember, uh, in the previous video, we talked about the mechanism of the dissolving metal reduction. Uh, the dissolving metal reduction ended up the hydrogens opposite each other because of uh, electron repulsion in one of the intermediates. So H2 and the Lindler catalyst is going to go with this top one, and sodium and ammonia or dissolving metal reduction is going to go on the bottom. Before I, I finish off with the topic of alkyne reduction, uh, I wanted to just do a couple or show you a couple of examples of more recent developments uh, in uh, partial reduction of alkynes. And so one of the things that a lot of people have been trying to do is replace hydrogen gas. As you might know, hydrogen gas is, is flammable and under the wrong conditions can be explosive. Uh, so there's a lot of work out there to replace hydrogen gas in, in hydrogenation reactions. And um, my first example here is a report in the Journal of the American Chemical Society from 2011, uh, where some chemists from China and uh, Japan have you know, identified uh, formic acid as a so or an equivalent source of hydrogen using a palladium catalyst. Another uh, topic uh, of research in, in partial reduction is a way to get to uh, trans alkenes using methods other than dissolving metal reductions. Dissolving metal reduction is actually a pretty hardcore reaction and, and it reduces other functional groups as well. We're going to 
uh, cover some of those um, in in later videos. So there's some desire out there to find you know uh, metal catalyzed variants, uh, and it turns out that ruthenium, various ruthenium catalysts, and this uh, tris triphenylphosphine ruthenium dichloride is a soluble ruthenium catalyst that uh, in the presence of copper iodide and zinc will convert water into the hydrogen source and make transalkenes. This was reported in 2013 in the journal Organic Letters. And then finally, yeah, this one's a little bit older. Uh, I actually, I kind of picked it because it's from 1982 and I was born in 1982. And to just highlight that sometimes the things that we learn about in our introductory organic chemistry courses have actually been around for a long time. Uh, and there are newer things that aren't actually all that new uh, that sometimes don't get put in these textbooks. So here is another way to make a cisalkene, but without using a metal catalyst. The metal catalysts are actually pretty expensive. Um, and so E.J. Corey and J. Kang in 8, 1982 figured out how to use uh, uh, use a boring, do hydroboration, but instead of oxidizing the, the boring intermediate, they reacted it with acetic acid, which led to partial reduction of that alkyne and, and in the way that formed a cis product. I hope you've enjoyed this journey into the reduction of alkynes. There's one more video in my series on alkyne reactions focused on uh, the ozonolysis of alkynes. Stay tuned for that, and thank you for watching.